Hey everyone, my name is Rahul and today I'm going to be telling you the four biggest mistakes that people make on software engineering interviews. And if you've made one of these mistakes before, don't worry, we've all been there, we've all been in that boat, and my goal here today is to convey to you my knowledge and experience on these interviews to let you know the mistakes that you should be avoiding in order to succeed on your interviews. So without further ado, let's get straight into the list. The first mistake people make on software engineering interviews is not fully understanding the question and jumping straight into writing code. And this is a problem because interviewers will often omit information intentionally, expecting you to ask the questions to be able to piece it together. For example, they may not tell you how to handle edge cases or tell you what the input's going to look like or what the output data type is going to be. These are the types of questions you want to ask along with clarifying questions about the problem itself to make sure you fully understand the question. And after that, it's not the time to jump into code. You should then think about how you're going to solve the problem algorithmically. Because if you don't know how you're going to solve the problem, why should you start writing code on it? So once you've solved how to do it algorithmically, and once you've asked all your questions, then finally, can you jump into writing code? The second biggest mistake that people make on software engineering interviews is poor communication. And the way you want to remedy this is by putting yourself in a position to be able to practice your communication skills, as well as getting together with some friends or some other people that you know, and going ahead and working on communicating on technical topics. This is especially important because the interviewer needs to have a full and crystal clear understanding of what you're saying during an interview. You may think that you're getting your point across really well, but really the interviewer might just be confused by what you're saying and that could hurt you in the interview process. So you really need to make sure that you practice, practice, practice on communicating on technical topics with other people and make sure that they have a full understanding of what you're saying. That is the best way to ensure that you don't make the mistake of having poor communication during your interview and potentially hurting your ability to get that job. The third biggest mistake that people make on software engineering interviews is not testing their code. And testing your code is the first thing that you should do after you're done writing it. Reason being is that your code may not work for either edge cases or even some simple cases, or it may not work at all. So what you wanna do is take one or two simple cases and step-by-step -step run through your algorithm on that input. Once you're done with that, do the same thing for one or two edge cases. And if your algorithm works for both of those, then hopefully you should be good to go if you chose good edge cases and good simple cases. But if it doesn't work, then hopefully at least you'll have a starting point towards finding out a problem. But this is a whole lot better than if you just finish coding and then your interviewer tells you there might be a bug in your program and then you go around hunting for that solution. That looks a lot worse than you going in and either trying to find that problem or even finding that problem entirely. The fourth biggest mistake that people make on software engineering interviews is not being prepared for them. And you really need months of preparation before you start interviewing to be truly successful. And if you want to have a study plan and you don't know where to start, check out my first video. It's linked down in the description. It tells you a five step guide on how to successfully prepare for software engineering interviews. And I recommend you start there and build out your study plan to be successful. So that's it. Those were the four biggest mistakes that people make on software engineering interviews. If you like this video and found it useful, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing because I'm putting out more videos just like this on helping you succeed on software engineering interviews. If you thought something in particular was insightful or if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate that. But until next time, see ya.